This is a demonstration how to use design tables in SOLIDWORKS. In this demonstration, we'll just drive the length of this screw and suppress and unsuppress this uh, etching here on the side of the uh, screw, and we'll change the length of the thread. So, um, if we go to this revolve feature and double click here, it'll pull up uh, the dimensions. You want to left click on this and if we just hover over it it'll give us the uh, name of that dimension which is screw length at sketch one and then if we go to here and double click on this sketch this is the length of the thread so that's if you hover over that it'll give us the name of that as well the min thread length Then on these we want to take note that the what the feature name is so that we can suppress and unsuppress that so if we go to insert design table we'll do auto create we'll select all these and then we'll just delete the ones that we don't want we'll maximize this window here a little more so we can see what's going on so we'll want to keep um, the screw length and the rest of these we won't really need so we can delete those and then if we come back here we'll add a date at and it's etch 2.0 and then we'll do unsuppress for this configuration we'll remove the hyperlink paste that here and remove the hyperlinks on these again and we'll do unsuppressed here again then we'll do say um, 6-32 2.5 and so length will be 2.5 the thread length will make um, say an inch here and for these, um, we'll do unsuppressed for this logo here and suppressed for the 3.0. Then we can copy that again. And here we'll do 3.0. Do 3 here. We'll do 0.5. We'll suppress this and unsuppress the 3.0 logo. Then if you left click over here, it'll um, generate the two new configurations and then we'll have this is 2.5 so if we come back here it'll I misnamed this one if we rename it here that'll actually change it in the design table to the right one because if you right click on the design table here and do feature properties or actually um, edit feature um, we're allowing model edits to update the design table you can block those but in this case um, it's just easier to allow it to go backwards so in this configuration the length is 2.5 the length of the thread is 1 and we're unsuppressing that logo. Then if we go to the three inch long version, we'll make it three inches long with this 3.0 uh, feature here. The thread length will be half inch and then the overall length will be three inches. So that's a quick demonstration how to use design tables and they're pretty powerful tool that you can use to drive features and parts and, and assemblies.